Hi everyone. This is Sam from Cloud Tech. Today I will be looking at AWS Cloud Formation. AWS Cloud Formation is a service which helps to provision infrastructure, infrastructure as a code. It helps to model a collection of related AWS resources, provision them quickly and manage them throughout their life cycles. So what is the meaning of this means? So suppose if you want to launch a AWS East instance or S3 bucket uh, and secure configure security group and launch a load balancer. So we can all group them together and uh, we can create a template to launch the infrastructure. So for that we are using the cloud formation template. Uh, it describes our desired resources and the dependencies. So we can launch and configure them together as a stack. So we are grouping together all the resources, all the resources together and we are launching them as a stack in AWS cloud formation. We can manage and provision stacks across multiple AWS account and AWS region. So our meaning of this, like, what is the meaning of this? So once we create this uh, cloud formation template, we can use that uh, template uh, to deploy the infrastructure, in, uh, infrastructure across multiple regions. Uh, we are under different environment also, like could be a dev or test or production environment. Uh, so with this, with the help of changing certain conditions, we can use the same template to deploy the stack across multiple region and environments. Uh, so not to write this template, not to write this template, we'll be using Visual Studio Code. Now go to Google, search Visual Studio Code. Click on the first link and download uh, the Visual Studio. I'm using Windows. Once the download is complete, install it. So we will be using uh, certain extensions for this Visual Studio Code. Type cloud formation. Choose the cloud formation linter extension. If it is not already installed for you, click install. If you click this cloud formation linter page, it will direct us to another page. So in this, they will be telling what is the use of this cloud formation linter. So here they are providing two tools like CF and Linet. It helps to parse uh, the template and what shows what the problems in it. And next, is, next, is, next one is PyDot. It helps to preview the template as a graph or resource. So how we can install this, uh, make use of these two features is uh, just uh, uh, execute this command in your terminal. If the terminal is not displayed for you like this, what you can do is click this uh, uh, below icon. Then the terminal will pop up then. Now, execute this command. For me, it's already initialed, I think. If it is not there, you execute the execute these commands. Next install pi dot as well. Uh, how we are going to write this code? We'll be using YAML. We can either use YAML or JSON. YAML is a simple one, and it is readable also, understandable easily. It will be clean and understandable as well. So first we need to know the what template we need to use. Just type in the goal type cloud for AWS cloud formation S3. Now click this uh, AWS link. So this is the format they have given. So what does the meaning is? So here this is the resource name. We are, since we are creating, going to create a S3 bucket, we need to use uh, resource name as AWS S3 bucket. And this is the, uh, this is the type actually. So 
where they, they have provided both in json and yaml format they have given all the properties and the attributes related to them so for yaml we need, we need to we can choose a you can is there any other property sometimes there will be some mandatory property will be there here you can see whether it is required or no no you can see record is no no if it is yes only means it is a mandatory property otherwise we can leave i mean like we no need to give any other properties as well based on uh, uh, our requirement we can configure this properties so we'll be you now let's go back to uh, visual studio code so this is a sample ml file for creating an s3 bucket so first thing it is required is resources this is only defines what resource we are going to create we are going to create an s3 bucket next one is uh, this is a logic led you can give any name for this i okay my s3 bucket you can give any name like a demo bucket or yes simply s3 bucket anything you can give next one is type what this is the one it defines what we are what resource we are going to create how we know what is the format how i am giving this aws s3 bucket means you can go back to our uh, uh, documentation page here you can see for s3 bucket this is the uh, type they have given come to ml format this is the type they have given so simply we need to choose type aws s3 bucket next one is properties so here you can see next one is properties we can configure any of the properties but uh, simply i'm just giving bucket name for this demo i uh, choose some bucket name you can this bucket name has to be unique otherwise what will happen is uh, it won't create it will fail saying in bucket name is not unique you can uh, no need to give any other properties uh, but for demo purpose i'm just giving bucket name we can give you can give many other properties also like access control or what version uh, so many things we can tax we can add it a uh, lot of properties we can add it for simple demo purpose i'm just giving bucket name alone now save this uh, file so how is uh, and i not told you how to create this file you can go to file click a new file and you can name a name your file anything uh, save the extension with the .ml once you save this file now go to your aws account once you to log into your aws account uh, cloud go to cloud formation cloud formation service here you can click create a stack in the create stack page uh, we have a template ready so you can choose the leave it as the first option as it is template is ready now click upload a template file now click choose file so this is the yaml file which i have saved in my system i am choosing this file now click next we need to give the stack name what you are going to use it you can give anything you can give any name for the stack you can configure tags or any iam role if it is required uh, for this history bucket we don't need any of the information simply click next so this is the overall summary page now click create stack so here it's, you can see that what are the events are happening when we are trying to log after launching this stack uh, here if you refresh this page we will come to more here you can see the logic lady like what are we are given here it is reflecting so that we will come to know what resource is creation of progress now you can see that uh, resource creation is completed if you click resource here also you can see you can either go to you can go to s3 bucket s3 resource from here and uh, choose that uh, uh, see whether it is created or else you can simply click this uh, resource open in new tab here you can see that the bucket which we created is already there listed here you can see that so this is how we can create 
this is how we can make use of a cloud formation to create a resource in AWS. So this is a uh, this is a simple demo going forward we will be looking at how to create a various resources like ec2 or load balancer uh, one after other suppose if you want to delete the stack now go back to stack click on a stack and delete it if you delete it all the resources which are you launched using the stack will be deleted it may be ec2 or s3 load balance everything will be deleted just to make sure before you are deleting what you are doing later. Click on this resource and click delete. Here it says delete complete, which means the resource or what are the resources we have created is deleted now. If you go back and refresh this. You won't be seeing that a demo back later. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be covering more uh, uh, cloud formation related uh, how to create easy trends and say going forward in my channel. Yeah, if you want to know any other topic also, please comment in my channel. Thank you.